What's going on Pixel Hackers? Christian Lovrasic from Pixel Feet here. And in this video, I'm going to show you my must have automation rules when it comes to CBO campaigns. But before we get started, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and let's dive right in. So let's say you're in a brand new account. You're, la you're launching a brand new account or you're taking over an account and you want to fix everything or you want to set a standard from the beginning of, of how much you're willing to pay for a conversion. So what I did here is I created an example CBO campaign. So our CBO campaign is right here. We have set up our daily budget right here. So for this example, I set up a 1500. Uh, you know, depending on where you're at, you can choose whatever your budget is. It depends what you're going for. So let's say that's set up. That's a campaign level. And then at the ad set level, we have our multiple audiences. So we have audience number one, audience number two, audience number three, and audience number four. Obviously, these could be different interests. This could be different lookalikes. This could be copies of the same audience because believe it or not, you can also do that. Because what happens is when you're running CBO, the beauty of it is it, that the optimization is happening at the campaign level, I mean, at the ad set level. So what happens is Facebook starts cycling through the different ad sets. So you're never going to have audience overlap in a CBO. So that's a little golden nugget for you guys there. So we have our audiences set up here. And then obviously, we also have our ads right here. So let's figure out our numbers first. So let's say I pulled up this example, uh, this is Fabletics. It's a brand owned by Kate Hudson and they're selling this VIP package. And this VIP package is $89.95. So this is where you have to know your numbers in order to set the right rules at the right level. So if our selling price is $89.95, that means we got to figure out what our profit margins are. So let's say here that out of those $89.95, they're willing to pay at the most $25 per sell because you got to subtract overhead uh, for the company and you got to and you got to take into consideration how much you're willing to spend in order to get that purchase, to get that sell. So let's say we set up our CPA or cost per acquisition at $25 per sell. Okay. In order to control that on a brand new account, we have to set rules at, you know, on a CBO. If you let the CBO run wild without any data whatsoever, what happens is Facebook is gonna hang on to the first ad set and the first ad that grabs engagement from the get-go. So if you launch and one ad and ad set gets engagement right away, the CBO as of March 1st, 2020, it's going to send all the traffic towards that. It's gonna, it's, it's gonna be its preferred method of sending traffic to that ad set. So in order to prevent that and set rules of saying, hey, Facebook, I'm only willing to pay $25 no matter what for purchase. If that doesn't happen, I want you to stop spending money right away. So this is when rules come into place. So every time I set a CBO, I go ahead and set the following rules. So I'm gonna go and set up all of them and show you step-by-step step what each one is and how it works, okay? So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna go to your ad set level, you're gonna check all of them and you click the little three dots right here and you're gonna create a new rule. It's gonna take you to this screen and you're gonna have many, many different options. And the first one that we're going to do is gonna be our cost per acquisition rule okay so our cost for acquisition rule is where we tell in facebook hey i'm willing to pay this much for this sale but no more than that so we're going to go in here we're going to click this we're going to go we're going to scroll down and we're going to click cost per website conversion facebook pixel okay so this is cost and this is just the event remember that uh, and I really recommend that you look at all of these. You can get really creative with rules, but just for the example for this video, we're just going to choose cost per website conversion. And since we're going for purchases, we're going to select cost per purchase Facebook. So apply the rule to the four ad sets that we selected right here. And we're going to tell Facebook, hey, turn off all these ad sets if my cost per purchase is greater than $25. Okay. You hit enter. You get rid of lifetime impressions. That's if you're going to let your campaign run forever, which most of you don't. I suggest you let it go for at least three to four days before you make any decisions. So we get rid of that. 
and we're going to change this to today. We want this to happen daily. So you're going to choose today. Then you're going to choose continuously, which is already on there. Uh, this is up to you. If you want to get email notifications, I get way too many, so I turn it off. So we call this kill if CPA is um, over $25. All right. So we create our rule right there. Close. And then the next rule we're going to create is what I like to call the spend rule. Okay. So the spend rule, what it is, is we're going to tell Facebook, hey, if we've spent this much and there's not a single conversion, I want you to kill this ad set right away because there's no point in keeping this ad set running if it's not making us money. So once again, apply the rule to the four ad sets. You leave that selected. The action will be turn off ad sets. And then we're going to choose spent. Okay. So if our spent is bigger than $25, we're going to kill our ad set. On top of that, we're going to add another that rule to it. So the second part is if there's less than one purchase, we want you to kill it as well. So we go in here and we do uh, purchases, website conversions right here. So just purchase in general, you're going to choose purchases and you're going to choose a smaller than one. So if there's no purchases in that ad set, Facebook, I want you to kill it. So we're, we're going to choose once again today, and we're going to run this continuously, meaning every 30 minutes every day, and then turn that off. And we, co we call this kill if spent um, <clears throat> 25. All right. So we create that. Okay. And the next rule we're going to create is one of my favorites. This is my attribution rule. OK, what this rule does is that, you know, the attribution is delayed on Facebook. So, you know, when you get a sale in your store, you're not going to get, you know, Facebook doesn't get the information right away. Sometimes there's a little delay of like seconds. Sometimes there's a delay of minutes. So since these rules are running automatically, you're not going to it's not going to catch all of them in time. So what I like to do with this one is, is I tell it on the same day, turn on my ad sets right if my cost per purchase we go right here is less smaller than and i'm not going to make it 25 i always take a few bucks off all right so i'll make it 23 okay so it's not right at the borderline uh, borderline so you hit that get rid of that lifetime impressions you choose today so we got that. So turn on ad sets today. Continuously run that every 30 minutes. Get rid of that email. And then we call this rule attribution. Oh, I can't spell. Attribution. And we do a little sign right here. 23. And once you get to know your numbers, you can play with these numbers as well. So you can start with a few bucks less and then, you know, to control those costs, you bring it down. So 23, and this is our ad set level. So turn on today, all good. Okay, now you might be wondering, so what happens when all my ad sets are turned off? Well, you gotta turn them back on. So you gotta tell Facebook to turn every single ad set that spent money the day prior back on at midnight. So the next rule we're gonna create, is gonna be the turn ad sets back on. So we're gonna change this to turn on ad sets, we're going to change this to spent is greater than 0 0.01 a penny, basically, right? Yesterday, because what happens at midnight? At midnight is a new day. It's a new, beautiful day. So we check daily at 12 Eastern time or whatever your account uh, time zone is. And then we call this one turn ad sets back on. And boom, we create that. Now. Here's the other thing that I like to do. You're going to go ahead and do the same at the at level, okay? So you're gonna go in here and you're gonna replicate every single rule we just made, but for the at level, because you cannot apply an existing rule. You gotta create the ones for the at level. But basically, just do what I just showed you all over again for the at level. And the cool thing about it is that 
once you create the rules, you can apply them to whatever new campaign you have. All you have to do is just select it, apply, select, apply, select, apply, select, apply. So any new campaign you launch, you select, apply. This is how you scale by keeping your costs under control. Okay. And then if you want to see how many rules are, are running and you want to check what's going on with all your rules, so you want to, you want to edit them or you want to do anything else to it or turn them off, you can go to your, your, uh, you know, automated rules manager right here and you can actually preview the rule. You can edit the rule. You can run it on command or you can delete it. Another thing you can do is you can turn off your rules. So once again, once you know your numbers, and you know why you're willing to pay for that cost per acquisition at the beginning, you tell Facebook what to do. You do not let it run wild because that's when you lose money. And once you have an, an ad account with plenty of data and plenty of money, then it gets to the point where you can actually, believe it or not, you can run your CBOs wild, wide open, no rules, no nothing. And, and that's the beautiful thing where you can just let it run wild and let the AI do its thing. Guys, if you like this video, make sure to click one of the boxes right above me. Keep learning, keep moving on, and I'll see you in the next video.